Well, picking up the pieces after a deadly collision that could have been even more destructive. It happened at a busy intersection in Springfield Township. WLWT News 5's Todd Dykes is live tonight with new information about the crash that quickly turned into a crime scene. Todd. Yeah, Molly and Curtis, you know, when the deadly collision happened, the traffic lights you see behind me at Winton Road and Galbraith Road were all red. Now, a driver who was waiting to make a left turn told me that being stopped by the lights turned into a terrifying ordeal when another driver came flying at her from behind. A crash early Saturday scattered pieces of cars at the intersection of Winton Road and Galbraith Road in Springfield Township. Police say this man, 24-year-old Andre Christopher, is to blame. Officers first tried to stop Christopher near West North Bend Road and Daly Road, where they say he was traveling faster than 80 miles per hour. About 10 minutes later, police say Christopher's car was spotted on Galbraith near Hamilton Avenue, going faster than 100 miles per hour. A short time after that, police found Christopher's crashed car at the intersection of Galbraith in Winton. A woman waiting to turn at a red light at the intersection told me how scary it was when Christopher's car sideswiped the passenger side of her vehicle. Sadly, the woman said the situation became drastically worse when she heard the news that 51-year-old Yvette Smith of South Cumminsville was killed in the crash. These images of what quickly became a crime scene show how badly Smith's car was damaged when police say Christopher ran into her. Police say after he caused so much chaos, Christopher tried to take off on foot, but he didn't get far before officers were able to take him into custody. Now that crash victim I spoke to tonight who didn't want to be on camera, she's badly shaken up and she's just heartbroken for Yvette Smith's family. Now, I went to the South Cumminsville neighborhood where Yvette Smith lived. I spoke to a young man who identified himself as her son. He declined comment, but he was surrounded by loved ones at such a, an emotionally difficult time. As for Andre Christopher, he is at the Justice Center tonight, charged with aggravated vehicular homicide. Reporting live tonight in Springfield Township, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.